Hi everyone, and welcome back to your English grammar lesson. Now today we are going to learn something that confuses a lot of students, and it's commas in a series. Hmm. How do you use a comma in a sentence when there's lots of stuff in it? So we're going to find that out today. Our learning objective is to learn how to use commas correctly. It's kind of in the title, right? So I think this lesson might be quite quick. So let's get started with this. Now a period ends a sentence. Boom! Full stop. Right? It tells you that the sentence is over. Right? My name is Chris. Period. It stopped me. I stopped talking. The idea finished. But just like when we do speaking. You need to pause at the right moments. Okay. Now, periods will help you pause to end an idea, but a comma tells the reader when to pause in a sentence. So we pause at the end of a sentence with a period, but in a sentence we also pause with commas. They help the reader pause and break the sentence. Commas make the meaning of a sentence more clear. They can also Change the meaning of a sentence, so it's important that you do them the correct way. Take a look at this: Tom, Joe, Anne, and I are in the bank. See that? There's four people: Tom, Joe, Anne, and I. But if we change the comma, Tom, Joe, Anne, and I are in the bank. We completely changed it. There's one less person. Okay, so commas are very important. When there are three or more items in a sentence, it is called a series. Right? It's a series. It's doom doom doom. Okay. <laughs> How do you explain series other than doom doom doom? <laughs> One two three. Right? It's a series. So, do not use a comma if there are only two things in a sentence. See this right here? Chris, comma, and Mikai. Read books. There's two things. There's two people, two items. We wouldn't use a comma. We don't need it. We have that conjunction and. That's all we need. To make this correct, we would just say Chris and Mikai read books. No comma. So we need three or more items, things in a sentence to use commas. Okay. Let's take a look at our first example here. You can see in the video there are three people: Anthony, Jenny. And I didn't give her a name. We're just going to call her daughter. So you have to join that how you would, right? Our verb is hike. Let's build our sentence with these pieces: Anthony, comma Jenny, comma and their daughter. Three people are hiking. See how we had a series of three things, and we put that comma before the conjunction. When we break the sentence down, what Anthony, Jenny, and their daughter. What do they do? Are hiking. Okay. See, that's not so bad. Let's try another one. Our subject is Eric, Jim, Mike. Okay. And our verb is put up. You can see in this video they're doing something, right? So we're going to have that、um, that action. Let's take a look at my answer. Eric, Jim, and Mike. Right. Put up new wallpaper in the bedroom. Yeah, see, they're putting the wallpaper on the wall. It almost looks like three of the same person, but maybe they're triplets. Who knows? <laughs> but we have Eric, comma Jim, comma and Mike. Three things. So when we break it down, we say what? Eric, Jim, and Mike. What? Put up. What? New wallpaper. Where? In the bedroom. Okay. So commas haven't been so difficult, right? But what if there are more than three items in a sentence? It's the same basic idea. Take a look at this. Our subject is tomatoes, lettuce, bell peppers, cucumbers, and our verb is cut. Let's do this sentence here. The two chefs, because there's two people, two chefs cut what? Tomatoes, lettuce, bell peppers, and cucumbers for lunch. Hmm. Tomatoes, comma, lettuce, comma. Bell peppers, comma, and cucumbers. The very last item has the conjunction, comma, conjunction, last item. Huh. So we just add one more comma. 
That's what we do when there's a lot. <laughs> now, what if there's a whole bunch? That's a different thing. We create a list, okay? But four, five things, not so bad. All right. Now, when we break this down, we say what? The two chefs, what? Cut tomatoes, lettuce, bell peppers, and cucumbers. Why? For lunch. Oh, I get it, I get it. So, how do we use commas in a series? Well, when there are three items or more in a series, we use a comma to separate them. That helps us pause the sentence. A series must also include a conjunction for the final item and cucumbers. See? And our conjunction. Cool. Now let's practice this. Correct each sentence, add commas and conjunction where they are needed. Okay? So I want you to pause the video and fix these sentences. That way when we come back, we can check your answers and see if you put the correct commas and the correct conjunction in each sentence. Pause the video now. Okay, now I'm sure you paused the video. If you didn't, pause it now and answer your questions because we are going to check the answers right now. All right. Now, you can see all the black, that's our answers, okay? We have the umbrella, comma, chairs, comma, and sunscreen in the car. We have the three things, and they're in the car. Number two, the potatoes, comma, green beans, comma, and meat are ready for the pot. Yeah, we're gonna make a stew or a soup. Number three, Chocolate, comma, candies, comma, and ice cream are bad for your teeth. Definitely bad for your teeth. Number four. Ooh, this is different, right? This is a question because we have a question word. Do you want salad? It's a choice. So our conjunction is going to be different. Do you want salad, comma, breadsticks, comma, or rice for your side dish? We have three choices, so we have or as our conjunction. If we had and, that means you get all three, so it doesn't make sense. Number five, I worked, comma, washed the dishes, comma, and folded laundry today. I was busy. I did three things. Number six, Tim could have either the car, comma, house, comma, or money. If he chooses, he has another choice again, right? He could have this, this, or this if he chooses. So choices mean we use the conjunction or with our commas. And everything else, when we include them together as a couple, as a series, we use and as the conjunction. Hmm. So if you have any questions, let me know. I think that this one seems to make more sense. I hope it... Uh, was a quick lesson for you and an easy lesson for you. If it wasn't, ask me those questions, leave a comment, and create your own sentences. Leave me a comment, send me the message so that I can check your answers and make sure that you got it, that you are doing it right. All right, I will see you for the next lesson. Goodbye.